Well, uh, day 11's come to an end, and as you can see, the car is currently not there. Uh, it's outside because it runs. Fucking amazing. Uh, it needs a little bit more transmission fluid. I spaced and put in seven bottles, which were like 945 milliliters each. It takes seven and a half liters. So I'm down almost a full bottle. So I have one laying around. It's a different brand. I'm just going to use that, throw it in. Um, I felt a little bit of slipping. Then I was like, oh, yeah, I never put that other bottle in there. Um, I checked it. It's all fine, though. Nothing's bad or destroyed. Um, yeah, ran great. If you saw the video of the first start, uh, taken with my cell phone because this camera was inside. It was just easier to do that. The turbo was smoking a little bit because last night when me and Joe filled up all the fluids, uh, bumped the fill, uh, little, 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 bumped the uh, funnel, and I got oil all over the top of the engine. So the turbo um, and exhaust manifold started smoking because of that. Um, I'll move my way over there. This is what I just finished. Um, wet sanding for two hours, and then buffing for like 45 minutes, hour-ish. Um, I now, after the amount of time that it took to just do like this little amount of stuff, which I really half-assed the bottom, I did like the edges, but like the center of the bottom, I barely even wet sanded and barely even buffed just because you're not gonna see it. Um, I'm really considering, or reconsidering, painting my bumpers the SC style because that is gonna be like, each bumper is going to be twice what I had to do here, so that's going to be like six hours per bumper of just wet sanding and buffing, and then it's going to be uh, two bumpers, so like 12 hours. Paint's going to take forever, priming's going to take forever, prep's going to take forever, so I'm not sure about that. But as you can see, it's all nice and shiny. Um, really, really shiny. Um, there's a little bit of pitting and a um, little bit of pitting and some deeper scratches that I can't get out with wet sander buff because I didn't do my prep properly. I did 200 grit to roughen up the uh, paint that was already on there, red on the wing, blue on the decor panel, and then I never sanded that smooth because yeah um so they look from a distance like from this far away which i'm like literally four feet away you can't tell so you know it's a volvo no one's going to come up close and like inspect it anyways so i mean i'll be lucky to get anyone four feet close to this car especially if they're a female um <laughs> so yeah these are fine uh took forever but it's worth it and they look awesome, and it's mad, and it's sick. So moving over to the car, it runs. Sounds like almost like a V8. Um, kind of reminds me of turbo diesel trucks, which are always tooling up and down my road because the power lines are right by me. And one of my neighbors is huge into like lifted trucks and stuff because he's like that. Um, as I was gonna put all that stuff on today, the uh, decor panel and the wing but um as you can see my car is kind of a mess you can't see all the pollen that's all over it because the dew has kind of gotten rid of that or made it a little bit less noticeable but it is covered in handprints and bugs and more bugs the windows look like bum and the back is covered in not too much bird poop i mean like it could be worse but um, yeah, being parked in the only way in and out of the barn for the birds, they kind of just like went, hey, look. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm still putting some of the trim back in here. I have um, to put this piece back in that goes right here. Um, I need to find the tabs for it, the two little screws that go in there. Don't know where they went. Um, Belts are slipping a little bit. I need to tighten them up. I thought I tightened them enough, but apparently not. 
Uh, first time actually ever changing a belt on anything, or taking a belt off and putting it back on. Brakes need to be bled more. I can stop, but if I had a jam on the brakes, I'd be fucked. Um, and the interior still needs to be put back together. It's a decent amount put back, but um, not really. I took the steering wheel off and actually got it on there straight because it was like steering to the left, like five, 10, 15 degrees when it was straight. So I got that all fixed. Seats are in center consoles in ish. It's not bolted in. Um, that's just four bolts. And then everything in the center there needs to go in. Um, waiting for my GFB to get all run up. I need to buy some fittings at AutoZone or Home Depot or someplace because this boost line, which went from the um, manifold to the old cluster, obviously doesn't reach anymore because I had to cut it. And it actually had like an extender on it and I have no clue where that went. And then the uh, tubing that they gave me is like half the size of this and I don't have a fitting that can connect the two. So I'm gonna have to go find one of those. Um, other than that, it's working great. Headlights weren't working at first, but I realized when I cut out the whole entire factory radio system, there's two uh, yellow stripe wires that need to be connected that were a part of that that I snipped. So I got those all sorted out. That's all working fine. Tomorrow, going to finish putting everything back together. Need to put the exhaust on because I was starting to and then I realized that the bolts that they give me are bigger than the holes on the downpipes flange. So I had to go out and buy a drill bit so I can drill those a little bit bigger. It felt like a tool. This thing is like deafening loud at like 3K. Um, and I was pretty much 3K for 25 miles here and back to Home Depot. Um, well, like 12 and a half each way. So got that, uh, need to get that taken care of. But yep, tomorrow exhaust, finishing putting things back together. Uh, wash the shit out of it, mount the painted stuff, and then if I have time, I will be hopefully hooking up the um, GFB boost controller so I can run more boost because uh, six is fun, but I'm already getting a little bored of it. Not really. I just want 12 really, really bad. So this has gotten really out of hand at eight minutes, so I will see you tomorrow.